without objection. I thank the General Lee for yielding and for her exceptional leadership along with Congressman Mike Castle's leadership on this exceptional and important issue. Mr. Speaker, I rise to express profound disappointment in the decision of the President to veto H.R. 810. This legislation passed with strong bipartisan support in both chambers of Congress. It enjoys the support of upwards of 70 percent of the American people, and most importantly, it offers hope and the promise of a cure to the millions of people who are living with the constant challenge and burdens of chronic disease and disability. Mr. Speaker, when I was injured in an accidental shooting as a young police cadet almost 26 years ago, I was told that I would never walk again. The promise of embryonic stem cell research was at that time unheard of. While I always held out hope that I would one day walk again, it was not until the tremendous potential and advances in the field of stem cell research that I truly understood how a cure might work. Today, I am thrilled to be able to share this hope with millions of others. We live in exciting times. Today, newly injured patients, many of them teenagers as I was, are told about developing treatments and scientific progress. They face the world with many of the same challenges I faced in 1980, but they also face the world with the hope and real promise of a cure. Under the current policy, however, that promise is limited. Embryonic stem cell research has been limited to lines derived before August 9, 2001, the date of the President's policy announcement. When the President announced this policy almost five years ago, he even he acknowledged the tremendous potential of embryonic stem cell research. In fact, that policy allows the research, in fact, that policy allowed the research to proceed, but only in a very limited way. The resources that we had that we had in 2001 have run out. This research cannot truly move forward without a change in policy. An additional 30 seconds. Gentleman's time has expired. That's why I'm disheartened by the president's decision today. HR 10 was crafted in accordance with the ethical guidelines outlined by the president, and it's why I will vote to override his veto today. Gentleman's time has expired.